Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here for videocopilot.net. Today we're going to take a look at the Auto Bright lens flare. And to apply it, what you want to do is create a new black solid and choose OK, make comp size and OK. Then go over to the lens flare folder and drop the Auto Bright lens flare onto the black solid. And then if you hit U, you see there's two keyframes and what they do is simply animate across. Now if we change the transfer mode to add, you'll see the lens flare sort of blows out the screen. You can also change it to screen and it's a little less intense. Now if I shut off the keyframes by unchecking the stopwatch, I can select the lens flare preset and move it around. And what you'll see is when it gets to the middle of the frame, it sort of blows out. So similar to how it may work in the real world, or if you ever played Zelda Ocarina of Time, when you look at the sun, it sort of blinds you a little bit. So that's sort of the uh, idea behind this. Now, you can also use it for transitions. So all you have to do is animate the position. And then what you want to do is animate it across two clips and then move the flare center across and now it blows out. Now it doesn't get bright enough so what you can do is change the maximum brightness until it blows it out. So now you don't have to use the preset at the default level. You can change the type of lens flare and uh, create some slightly different looks. You can also choose effect color correction curves and sort of change the color. So if you were to just kind of add, uh, let's see, take away some red, add some blue, maybe play with the green channel here. You can create some pretty interesting lens flares using the default one. So. Okay, not too bad and definitely saves you from having to keyframe the flare center and the brightness, all that stuff. Two keyframes, you get all that animation. So, hope you guys enjoy it and we'll see you next time.